Hey everybody, Rollpie here. Welcome to my first Armour 3 Alpha gameplay video. In this video we're going to be covering the main features that are currently available in Armour 3 Alpha. To start with, let's look at the Hunter. The Hunter is a 4x4 off-road vehicle on the blue team. It's quite a heavy vehicle so it only goes about 120 km an hour, however it's quite heavily armoured so that makes up for the speed. The Hunter comes in three variations, there's an unarmed, grenade launcher and machine gun versions of it. The red team has a vehicle similar to the Hunter which is called the Ifrit. The Ifrit is another 4x4 off-road vehicle. The only difference between them is that the Ifrit has a much more modern look, well more futuristic, as well as the fact it's top heavy. So you have to slow down a lot more into the corners because it will go over quite easily. Each team also has an ATB. ATBs are still pretty basic, however they fix the fact that if you go over a slight bump you're not going to go flying into the air and kill yourself. The civilians have an off-road pickup truck. The off-road pickup truck is pretty fast on-road and also off-road. The biggest changes to the pickup truck are it looks much more modern, it's a lot bigger and bulkier, and it generally just looks a lot nicer. Now let's look at the air vehicles. Unfortunately in Armour 3 there's only helicopters, but it still gives you an example of what flight's going to be like in Armour 3. On the blue team you have an MH9 and AH9 Little Birds. The Little Birds are a lot quicker compared to what they used to be like in Armour 2. They also have a much more modern day look, which makes them look a lot nicer. There's two variations. You have the attack version and transport version. The attack version has two sets of Hellfire missiles and two miniguns on the sides. The red team has two variations of the KA-60 helicopter. It's a pretty good helicopter as it's quite agile and going pretty fast. The only downside is the attack one is not so good in attacking. It only has one set of Hellfire missiles and one minigun. And no door gunners at all. The transport one has nothing at all. The next thing we'll be looking at is boats. There's three kinds of boats available in Armour 3 Alpha. Three to a team and one civilian. There's an assault boat which is pretty much the same as the PBX from Armour 2. There's a rescue boat which is pretty much the same as that. And there's a speed boat which is an attack boat. It has a grenade launcher on the front and a machine gun on the back. The blue team has a minigun on the back whereas the red team has a heavy machine gun and there's also a civilian rescue boat. One of the new features is Physics 3. Physics 3 applies to vehicles, environment objects and player ride dolls. Here's a small example of what Physics can do to your player when you die. Give me a second with this, just got to get over to the other people. Okay, so Here's the example of physics. I've got a group of people here, there's about 20 people. I'm going to throw a grenade in the middle of them, so what should happen is it should create a sort of circle around the grenade showing the direction of impact. If they don't all run away. And there you have it. You can see how everyone sort of fell in their own direction. So in this corner, of course, it came towards where I'm standing now. As well as that, I'm also going to do a demonstration of vehicle physics. I'll do one in the eye for it, which should sort of almost topple over when I go around the corner, as for the fact that I said earlier, it's top heavy. I'm also going to use that as an example of vehicles now cl new climbing abilities. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to speed up a bit to swing it up. Okay, let's have a look. There you go. And two wheels. It's a little buggy at the moment, so it's quite easy for it to start flicking around when you go onto two wheels. Anyway. I set up some training saddles here. 
and I'm going to hopefully climb up them as a demo demonstration of physics. There you go, you can see the suspension going to work there. And when I fall off the edge, if it will fall off the edge, uh, unfortunately not. Not oh, fall. Almost break my legs. Okay, there's one other little thing which I should show on the vehicle side of things, and that's with helicopters. You remember how in Armour 2 you would get a broken main rotor, but all it'll do is a little texture, which I can show you by doing this. There you go, there's a little broken texture thing you may be used to. Then shoot a bit more, and the pedal will actually come off. It uh, can certainly make you worry quite a bit. Um, however, due to the new aerodynamics of the air vehicles, you can still come in for a gliding landing and survive. Okay, quickly heal myself. Okay, so let's have a look at the new weapons and the new gear system. So this is just the ammo, but it's good for demonstrating the new inventory system. So up here at the top you can see your armor. So I got a set of combat fatigues on, a carrier light, which is it's like holds ammo pouches as well as anything else of use I can put in there, like uh grenades, um mines, things like that. You can also get a backpack, but that's not available in Alpha. Here's your head accessories, so you've got helmet, goggles, night vision goggles and binoculars. You've got your weapon, secondary weapon and your sidearm. And for all of these you have attachments now. You can see how on my MX assault rifle I have a laser pointer, an RCO sight which uh, is a hybrid scope, and the active magazine. You can also see how I got on pistol down here and the active magazine on that. And here you've got your accessories, so you've got your map, a radio, compass, watch, and this would be a GPS here, but I don't have one on me. Okay. So if we look at some of the other boxes, this one will be weapons. You can see how in Alpha there isn't very many weapons. You've got pretty much all assault rifles apart from a light machine gun here and a rocket launcher here. And with all of these there's a you get different attachments and things. So if I take my attachments off this, put my gun in, change to the TRG twenty one. Now this one I think comes with a scope on it. No, no it doesn't. Okay, my mistake. But anyway. I should be able to go down here, quickly grab my scope, put it on, put my laser sight on, and if I reload then my magazine should go into the inventory. Let's rearm quickly. And so it goes in for me now. There we go, got an active mag. Right, let's have a look at the next box. Here's all your uh, grenades and smoke grenades as well as um, underbarrel grenades. This should be the mines and explosives. Some of the cool things you've got in here now, like trip wires, they're pretty cool. I'll just uh, take some things out of my vest so I can put a couple in there to show you. We've also got the uh, bounding mine. Well, it seems like it's those of breach charges, claymores, things like that. So I quickly go over here, I can show you the trip mines and things. So here's the trip wire. Which is uh well, it's, it's actually slightly hard to see, especially if it's gonna be night time, you wouldn't see that at all. So if you're doing something like uh base wars game mode or something put this at an entrance, you're very unlikely to see it. What's got the bounding mine? 
let's go to charge and I claim all. See if I can get one of these guys to move into it. Oh, there we go. What? Okay, well, that didn't go right. He was meant to go into it and make it blow up, but I can show that. Why not? Let's see if the claymore works. Claymore's not working as well. There we go. There's a bounce in mine. And there is the trip mine. Should we get up to this one? Yeah, some mines. Got your ordnance. So you got a sniper rifle and an underwater gun. Right, let's have a look at the sniper rifle. Ammo. No ammo, because I'm smart like that. Okay. It's pretty cool. Okay, so in this box, I go see all the AI running away because they had gunfire. Uh, here we go, got a GPS, let's put that down there. Got things like, uh, I can't put on this, but you got a silencer, laser sight, or you can place that with a flashlight. Okay, let's see what we get on the red team. Standard magazines again. Here we go, get some different weapons here. Now that's a machine gun I'm more used to, MK200. Just grab some ammo for it. You have low crouching behind walls and things, so use this box as an example. You can see how I can go to like that, sort of peek over using this. And my head is exposed there a bit, but you can't actually see over it. You sort of peek up a bit, which will allow you to see over. And then, you don't get up and. So that was my introduction to the features that are currently available on Armour 3 Alpha. I hope you all enjoyed. If you would be so kind as to like, favourite, subscribe, any of that would be very useful. And I'll catch you in the next video, which will be Daisy.